This is a quick movie showing you how to do a calibration inside ImagePro. I've snapped a picture of a graticule, this could be a ruler or anything else. And what I do is go to Measure, Calibration, and Spatial. Um, this would list any calibrations that I currently have open. Uh, I don't have any open at the moment, so I'm just going to come here and I'm going to say New and call it James. Oh, New and call it James 10x. I can pick the units, it's in microns, but it could be in feet or meters or whatever. And then we go to image, and that draws a line on the image. So if I just drag that here, and say every one of those, being as inaccurate as I want, equals 10 microns, for example. And when I press apply, my calibration is now applied. Now I can see that's applied by right clicking and seeing information and under calibrations I can see that we have 8 pixels per unit. Um, I can also see calibrations and which calibrations are in use by using calibration set system and this actually controls my active dyes if I'm using tints, my lens files if I'm doing calibration but also has my calibrations. So if I open up a new file I'll just pick one file at random. If I just press apply now, that is now applied to the same calibration function. So it's still 8 pixels per unit. Okay. Now, I can actually create calibrations in an easier way. Um, if I know my camera and I know my system, particularly on a microscope, that becomes quite easy. So I can go to measure, calibration, uh, spatial calibration wizard. And there is a number of ways I can use this. I can have it calibrate to an active lens, or I can just use estimate from camera and lenses. And here, I select which camera I have. So I'm going to say I have a camera, Q imaging, and I'm going to say it's a Reti EXI. And I'm going to call my, all my calibrations are going to be called EXI. Next, it says these are the objectives that you've got a 10, a 20, and a 60. So I set those up as previously as lens files. If I want to add in another one, I'm going to add in a 40. So let's just say new 40x. That's 40 times objectives. Let's make it a 0.5 times NA lens and save that. Save as 40. Yes, that's fine. Um, now I've got my 40 times lens. If I had a coupler in my light path or an adapter, microscope adapter, I could say, yes, I was using a 0.7 times adapter. And that'll take that into account. Anyone using an Optivar can put their zoom function in there. And finally, if I just press finish, now I have EXI calibrations for 10, 20, and 40 times. And again, I can just apply them. If I have the EXI 20 on and I snap a picture with my camera, it's actually acquired with that calibration information in it, and that calibration information will be saved with the image as long as it's saved as a TIFF or in a format that supports that. I hope that's been of help, and uh, if you have any more questions, please contact your local sales office or local dealer. That's great. Thanks very much.